Firefighter Richard Benefiski, speaking of the South Tower, said there was just an explosion. It seemed like on television when they blow up these buildings. It seemed like it was going all the way around like a belt, all these explosions. Deputy Commissioner Thomas Fitzpatrick said it looked like sparkling around one specific layer of the building. My initial reaction was that this was exactly the way it looks when they show you these implosions on TV. A few witnesses spoke of horizontal ejections. Chief Frank Crothers said, there was what appeared to be an explosion. It appeared at the very top, simultaneously from all four sides. Material shot out horizontally, and then there seemed to be a momentary delay before you could see the beginning of the collapse. This testimony is very important because the official theory says that the horizontal ejections were produced when the floors collapsed and pushed the materials out. So listen to firefighter James Curran, who said, I looked back and I heard like every floor went choo choo choo. I looked back and from the pressure, everything was getting blown out of the floors before it actually collapsed. If all these firefighters and medical workers witnessed all these phenomena suggestive of controlled demolition, it might be wondered why they have not spoken out. Part of the answer is probably provided by Auxiliary Lieutenant Fireman Paul Isaac. Having said that there were definitely bombs in those buildings, Isaac added that many other firemen know there were bombs in the buildings, but they're afraid for their jobs to admit it because the higher-ups forbid discussion of this fact. Isaac, for example, has more recently said, I know 9-11 was an inside job. The police know it's an inside job. And the firemen know it too. But you have not heard this on the nightly news. On the nightly news. On the nightly news.